The Big Test by Julie Dannenberg, illustrated by Judy Love. Mrs. Hartwell felt good, really good, really, really good. All year long, her students had worked hard, learned lots, and had fun. And now, as the school year neared its end, Mrs. Hartwell told her students that they were ready to take the big test. Yuck, said Eddie. Double yuck, said Alexandra. Double, triple, quadruple yuck, said Josh. I hate tests. Mrs. Hartwell laughed. Don't worry. This test is just a chance to show how much you've learned. Like addition, Emily shouted out. And reading, said Maria. And science, Jack joined in. Mrs. Hartwell nodded in agreement. Leaning forward, she added, We still have one thing left to learn, though. The class was confused. But you just said we were ready, Daniel said. You are, almost, but on a test you also have to know how to show what you know, explained Mrs. Hartwell. It's the last thing we have to learn. It will be fun. So during reading time that morning, Mrs. Hartwell sent the students straight to their seats. Today we're going to practice our sitting still for long periods of time skill. I want you to read at your seat and work by yourself. That doesn't sound like fun to me, Eddie grumbled as he took out his book. The class worked quietly. The reading part was easy. Sitting still without making a sound was hard. For Andy, it was impossible. During recess, while everyone else ran and played, Andy ran and played and worried. After recess, Andy's stomach hurt. He asked to go to the nurse. Okay, said Mrs. Hartwell sadly, but you'll miss this afternoon's let's all read the directions lesson. Andy didn't mind. On Tuesday morning, Mrs. Hartwell said, Friday is the day of the big test. Since we don't want any bubble trouble when we take it, we're going to practice our fill-in-the-bubble skills. Everyone worked hard. Everyone did just fine. Everyone, that is, except Emily and Maria. By the time they were done working, Emily had a headache, and Maria felt shivery all over. They asked to go to the nurse. Okay, said Mrs. Hartwell, looking concerned. But you're going to miss our morning of the test nutrition lesson. Emily and Maria took their pass and rushed out the door. On Wednesday morning, Mrs. Hartwell said, Today, we're going to take a practice test. Do we have to sit still for long periods of time? asked Andy. Yes, said Mrs. Hartwell. Do we have to fill in bubbles? asked Emily. And be sure to follow the directions? asked Maria. Yes, you do, Mrs. Hartwell smiled encouragingly. Remember, this test is a chance to show what you know before the timer goes off. Although most of the class did just fine, by the time the practice test was over, Daniel had gone to the nurse. As Mrs. Hartwell watched him go, she felt bad. Really bad. Really, really bad. On Wednesday afternoon, just before the bell, Mrs. Hartwell reminded everyone that tomorrow was the last day before the big test. We know, we know, Eddie said grumpily. This big test is no fun. I can't wait for it to be over. All the other students nodded in agreement. As Mrs. Hartwell straightened up her desk, she said, Tomorrow will be better. I promise. When the students entered the classroom on Thursday, Mrs. Hartwell greeted them with a smile. You've all worked hard this year, learned lots, and had fun. Right? she asked. Yeah, said the class. And this week we practiced how to show what you know. Right? Right, said the class hesitantly. Now it's time for the most important lesson of all, said Mrs. Hartwell. 
The class groaned as she told everyone to line up. Mrs. Hartwell walked her students down the hall. Everyone felt a little nervous. Mrs. Hartwell walked her students right up to the door of the library. Everyone felt a lot nervous. They gasped when she hung a sign on the library door. I feel sick, said Eddie. Library closed. Student testing. Mrs. Hartwell said, Once you've learned what you can learn and know how to show what you know, it's time to... Stop worrying and just relax. So the class did just that, and when the students finished the big test on Friday, they felt good. Really good. Really, really good. <laughs>